<clears throat> you'll be you'll be happy to know that uh, today's <laughs> Zoom tip is not about SharePoint and uh, Microsoft SharePoint and Zoom chat integration. I've done five of those in the past couple of weeks, and I will probably do more. But t today we're going to venture forth and and talk about something else. Talk about something that uh, Zoom recently released as well. And and that is something we've always had is whiteboard within a meeting, and it was very it was uh it was it was very basic and and had basic functionality, and and so Zoom's like hey we're Zoom, <laughs> and full disclosure I am a full time Zoom employee I am not a spokesman for Zoom I just like to share cool stuff that that Zoom does and and one of those cool things is whiteboarding, what there's a new whiteboard feature. In Zoom, I am joined uh, as Patrick Fabrication and also as uh, as the admin. So I have two uh, obviously people in this meeting. I want to show you how easy it is to use the new whiteboard app, literally built into your Zoom client. So if you didn't see it before, there's a new whiteboard app. It's right here at the bottom. If your IT admin has turned it on, if not, bug them. <laughs> Tell them to turn it on. And what happens when I launch whiteboard? is it's gonna give me a couple of options. It's gonna say, hey, do you wanna start a, a, a new whiteboard? Which I could. Or do you wanna work on, on a whiteboard you're already working on and you continue working on that? So these whiteboards are now persistent. These whiteboards are now dynamic. These whiteboards are now living documents. Uh, as in the past, the whiteboard was torn down after the meeting and the whiteboard was gone. Now, we're, we're instilling meet, the meeting life cycle into our whiteboard appliance, meaning, hey, you can actually share this whiteboard before the meeting even happens. And what that allows you to do is everyone that's participating in the meeting can actually go into this whiteboard before the meeting even starts and start collaborating before the meeting. Obviously, the next phase is what's happening during the meeting. And watch this. I can now open the whiteboard during a meeting, and I can collaborate on this whiteboard myself. I actually already have, again, MOD admin and Patrick Fabrication. I'm controlling Patrick Fabrication's white, uh, uh, keyboard right now, and I can obviously white little quigglies and all that cool stuff. What's happening on the other side is my admin is seeing all those real-time edits, and you can see... And he's in the whiteboard too because Patrick Fabrication as well as MLOD Admin are both editors of this whiteboard. And so now I can come over here and also if I'm MOD Admin, I can actually start writing cool stuff too, right? I can actually start start writing on here and sharing all these dot different uh, uh whatever, whatever I'm trying to draw over here. I'm trying to draw a little uh, forehead stuff. I'm trying to fill his uh, eyes in. But the whole point is I can now collaborate at the same time Patrick for a fabrication is. And then as many fab, I think it's up to a hundred could people can participate in the same whiteboard at the exact same time. What this allows us to do is obviously create content before the meeting. We're creating content during the meeting and now as I close my whiteboard, I can close it uh, as the person I'm organizing the meeting. I can close my whiteboard. That whiteboard is saved into the cloud. I can then end this meeting. And guess what? I still have access to the whiteboard. And how do I give access to the whiteboard? Let's go open it again. Let's open it again and show you how we can share that whiteboard. So therefore, I actually can share it. I can actually make this permanent. I can actually create, put people that are participants in the meeting. I can give them rights to view it, give them rights to edit it, give them rights to own it. Should I want to actually copy this entire link? I can hit copy link. Let's stop share here. Let's close it. And then say, for example, I'm going to actually uh, minimize this window. And then if I'm in a chat and I'm like, hey, here's that, at, here's that whiteboard from earlier. I can now share this whiteboard as a living document. Again, I showed you an example of how we created a, a whiteboard before the meeting even began. I then showed you how to co-author on that document while the meeting was going on. And now what happens after the meeting? After the meeting, Patrick's like, oh my gosh, I have a great idea for the whiteboard. Where is that at? Well, guess what? I, I just It was shared with me. I can now 
open up this whiteboard in a web browser and now I can obviously keep co-authoring on it right this second. So super cool stuff. I actually, I'm not going to sign in with my, uh, um, my credentials, but the point is now we've completed that life cycle. We can work on whiteboards beforehand, create them before a meeting, work on them during the meeting by co-authoring with all the participants. And then after the meeting, I can share that whiteboard with my participants or with anybody I want to give rights to and post meeting we can then continue to collaborate on that same whiteboard. And again, living document all the way through. Super cool stuff. Didn't mean to cut my head off over there, Mr. Uh, MOD admin. Hope you enjoy that. Play with the new whiteboard. It's really cool. A lot more features are obviously probably going to come, I'm guessing, the way Zoom innovates. All right. Enjoy your Thursday, everybody.